Hey, Jeremy Bates here with Buffalo Modular Homes, and behind me is the finished LE160 with an attached two-car garage on a full eight-foot poured basement. Let's do a walkthrough. Here's the attached two-car garage with a man door, two windows, and two overhead doors. These ones are about nine foot high, and they're insulated. Uh, they're actually very quiet. I will, let me press it. Actually very quiet, very quiet doors. And let's go in through the mud room. So off of the garage, you're typically gonna have a utility room. And this utility room normally has a washer and dryer right here, but this customer has elected to put their washer and dryer in the basement. And so this will, uh, the customer has, has told me, you know, they're gonna do some benches and some hooks here, you know, maybe some cubbies for the kids with the shoes. And then coming into the kitchen in the nook, we've got a pocket door for space saving. And here's the kitchen. Here's the kitchen in the nook. This is the LE160. And you can see very open concept. This customer uh, elected to go with the white kitchen cabinets and the dark countertops. Stainless steel fridge, stainless steel appliances, farmer's sink. There's the nook. So all open concept. We've got a temporary railing here. They're gonna do their own deck off of the nook but you've got a patio door, you've got two windows over the kitchen sink. Oh, you've got a bunch of LED lights. You've got an open stairwell down to the basement. Um, open living room, here's the front door. So coming in through the front door here, here's the front door. Coming in through the front door here, you can see how open concept it is. So off to the one side, uh, basically the LE160 has the living room, nook and kitchen, stairwell, uh, front door in the middle of the house. And then off to the one side, you've got bedrooms two and three, along with the bathroom. Okay. Single vanity, vanity lights, uh, tub shower combo with transom window, which is really nice for light, for natural light, if you like that. Okay. You've got a little linen closet here. Off of bathroom two. And you've got this LVP flooring over into carpet for bedroom two. Bifold doors on the closet, globe ceiling light, and you can see they added this third window. So you've got two windows at the front and a third window at the side, which really is um, beautiful for clean lines of sight. They've got a beautiful view as well. And uh, the bifold doors with the closet white six panel doors with a brushed nickel hardware. And here's bedroom three. And so bedroom three came standard with one window, but they added a second. And so really you can add as many windows typically as you want, but adding an extra window here and there really adds so much light into a room. And so back into the common space, you've got this great LVP flooring uh, throughout the whole 
common space, which is really a great floor. And off of the nook is the master suite. So let's go into the master suite. Bedroom, let's check out the, oh, we got another pocket door here. And going into the master suite, we've got a double vanity and we have a skylight actually. So the way this floor plan lays out is that um, off of this side of the wall, you've got your garage. So you couldn't have a, a window there. So we opted for a skylight. And in their walk-in shower, we've got a really a beautiful contemporary, very dark tile with a fiberglass pan. That's beautiful. I really like that. We have the blacks and the whites. Um, and in this one, we've got a, a lighter countertop. We've got the uh, white cabinets throughout the house with the dark accents, dark tile, um, some dark hardware. And in this one, we've got a, a little lighter countertop that's actually a Formica countertop, um, which, which really is beautiful. I like it a lot. It's got a really nice texture to it. It's kind of that barn, um, rustic barn feel. And back into the master suite, we've got a couple of windows and then we've got his and her closets. So remember this, LE 160 is actually only 1350 square feet. But in my opinion, 1350 square feet, very well spent. It, uh, it really has a nice layout. The rooms are a very decent size. And I think it lives very well for people downsizing. Um, in this case, we've got a young family here. Let's go down into the basement. So this is an open stairwell down to the basement. They're gonna do their own flooring down the stairs. We could have done carpet or LVP, but uh, we left that unfinished. And this is an unfinished basement. Superior walls, eight foot, 200 amp electric services standard. Two glass block windows and an egress window is standard. We've got two by 10 floor joists, three quarter inch tongue and groove floor decking. We've got spray foam insulation blockers above the wall. We've got a four inch concrete floor with rebar, high efficiency gas, forced air furnace, all metal plenum in here. We've got a, a gas tankless hot water heater hot water on demand. Uh, there's your sump pail. And down here we've got a wash basin. And this is where it's all set up for their, uh, for their washer and dryer. Uh, here's a little pump here for the, the water to pump up and out. And there's your other egress window. Lots of lights. And really this Superior walls is ready to finish. That's the benefit to a superior walls basement is that, you know, these studs are ready to hang sheetrock on and the studs are actually pre-bored. So you can run your electric in here and add your outlets and then you can add your sheetrock. You can over insulate. Uh, they've got uh, the required R value already in the rigid insulation board, but you can over insulate these walls and then add your sheetrock. Uh, I personally think it looks great to just spray the ceiling black or white, um, just you know spraying it all one color, and then you know adding your sheetrock around the you know the walls, maybe putting an LVP flooring uh, over the concrete in this area here where you've got your your electrical panel and, and some things you've you've got an opportunity to put a, a closet in here but other than that you've got a wide open rec room 
coming down from, you know, upstairs. You've got maybe one or two vertical support columns that you'd need to box in, you know, to have that open rec room feel, but really a, a very, very well-built house at 1350 square feet. It's really a beautiful, a beautiful home at a great size. I think it's a great size print, good footprint. And we can certainly add a back patio, a front porch. They elected to omit some of those things or rather defer them until a little later on. But just a beautiful home. I appreciate you watching. Hopefully you found this video of value to you. Hopefully we can provide you with a building proposal for your building project. Reach out to us, buffalomodularhomes.com. Give us a call and we can discuss what it is you're hoping to do. And we'd love to get in touch with you. Thanks for watching and God bless.